My name is Dan DeMeyer. I'm the VP of Engineering at ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the world's largest online consignment store. So we allow customers who send us in clothes and give them cash before we're able to turn around and sell. And on the other side of the marketplace, we sell those clothes to, to people. Typically secondhand, but sometimes new as well. It was a very primitive way of doing it, but we would typically mod something like the, the user ID, which allowed us to turn something on to 10% of the customers, 5% of the customers. We also had whitelists that had to be manually maintained for, for example, uh, employee user IDs. So if we wanted to roll something out to all of our just employees first, that was a very manual process. So, I mean, there, there were kind of multiple reasons why we needed something like Split. Um, the first was that we have a bigger system. And if we wanted to roll something out to 10% of our customers, we would typically have to do that across multiple services. And that meant that if something went wrong and we need to turn a feature off to all of our customers um, or 10% of our customers, that meant we had to deploy every single service. And just like the nature of how things work in the, in the web service world, um, you can't really just de time deploys precisely, so it could result in some bad experiences. Also, deploying isn't something that's instantaneous, so if you wanted to roll something out from 10% to 20% of our customers or just turn off a feature, there's a 15 minute lag time most likely between when you make those changes and when our continuous integration process completes and the deploy actually kicks off. Both. So in the, in the front end, every single time, every single time you come to Thrive.com, you are fetching split treatments. So any given customer is going to be behind a number of split treatments. Uh, and then on the back end, we use things like emails, A-B tasks to determine what customers are going to be seeing, what content, what emails. Um, so both on the front end and the back end. What we're kind of using split right now is this ubiquitous um, safety blanket. Uh, so right now there's common terminology and the dev team is like put it behind split or make sure to split that. So we put it behind features, we put it behind releases, tests, just about everything that we would potentially want to turn off, turn on, or potentially roll out to our customers. The integration itself was very fast. Um, I can safely say that we were up and running locally within 10, 15 minutes. Documentation, very straightforward. As a developer, you can kind of understand what's necessary just after a couple pages. Using Slack, we're also using webhooks for getting the impression data into our uh, data warehouse. So we're using those two. We actually are using Rollbar as well. Any change to anything that happens in our production environment is piped into Rollbar. That way, if we have a rollbar, rollbar exception that starts to pop up, we can actually see what the change log was for split to see if there's some sort of uh, relationship between the two. You know, what's interesting is that we're actually able to move faster with split. With split, it's just put it behind split, and then it gives you this flexibility once it's in production to, to make changes on the fly. If we want to roll something out to 100% of our customers, that change is almost instantaneous. If we want to roll it back, same thing, you know, instantaneous. For example, we had Black Friday recently, and we did something we've never done before, which is we used Split to control what customer promotions were being shown on the website and in emails. So in years past, the way we handled uh, Black Friday was, you know, every single day there's a different promotion that we're running, different on-site messaging, email messaging. This year we used Split to determine what everyone should be seeing. So with Split, you can pass in attributes. We passed in some of our machine learning scores, and then that would dictate what promotion they would see. You can also, within Split, set the value that is returned to the clients. So in this case, we just returned not on or off. We returned a promotion code. So the clients could just dynamically handle what to show to the customers. And then we could also pass in the current date. And based on conditions within Split, for each day, everything just naturally uh, handled what variation or what treatment for what promotion should be returned to the customer. 
In other words, we were for the first time able to queue up a week's worth of changes through Split and then all just go application. I mean, if we built this in-house, um, like, you know, most engineers would look at that and be like, oh, feature rollout, it's not that hard. But when you think about multiple environments, when you think about having a UI, conditional filters, you know, an impression data pipeline, like all of that, it's, it, yeah, it's a whole team working for a very long time to be able to do all of that. And so out of the box, like feature flags, like seems like it wouldn't be too difficult. When you realize what's actually happening there, it's this whole separate world. And when you can just like have it up and running in a couple of minutes, it's like, no 